Hi, I'm Patrick Anderson, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you why I chose the Mustang Mach-E over the Tesla Model Y. If you're interested in more Mach-E news and following my story as I go along and get my Mach-E, click on that subscribe button right now. So let's get started. About a week ago, I posted my first video in this channel, basically just talking about the Mustang Mach-E order that I put in. Within a few minutes of posting that online, my brother gave me a call and was wondering why I would choose the Mustang over the Tesla. Everybody knows Tesla is the industry leader in producing electric vehicles, and they have been for several years. And they sort of own, own that segment right now. So as we talked, I shared with him my opinion of why I think the Mustang Mach-E is a better choice for me and decided to make a video because I think it'll resonate with others that are comparing the two vehicles. Now, as I explained to him, nothing is set in stone. I have a $500 deposit I put in an order last week, but that's actually refundable. If there, for some reason, there's new information or I take a test drive in a Mach-E and I don't like it, or Tesla comes out with some new feature, I can still cancel that and get my money back. As of right now, this is the direction I'm leaning in. But there are a few things that I considered when I was making the decision to put down the deposit for the Mustang Mach-E. And the first was the performance and range. I'm not gonna say that the Mustang is going to beat the Tesla Model Y. In fact, if you look at the screen right now, you can see a comparison of the numbers between the Mach-E and the Model Y. Let's start with the range. You can see that the Model Y has a range of about 310 miles on the long range version. And the Mach-E, the, the version, the one that I selected, the Mach-E Premium all-wheel drive with extended range, it has a target of 270 miles. Hopefully, that could actually be better. If not, more than likely that the 270 miles will be more than adequate for 51 out of 52 weeks for me. Like I rarely go on very long range trips and if I do, that might be, become an issue. So we'll see on that. So right there, you know, the Model Y does beat the Mach-E. And then in the next category, the zero to 60 times, the Model Y, is, it gets about 4.8 or 4.9 seconds from what I've seen online. With the Mach-E, Ford is targeting a mid five seconds, zero to 60 time. Again, that's their, their target. Looking at some of the other performance numbers and the horsepower and the torque, I think it might be able to beat that, but but who knows? We'll only be able to find out once some production models make it on the street and it gets tested. But mid five seconds is actually faster than my current vehicle. I have a Subaru WRX and I believe it's about a 6.1 second zero to 60 time. Comparing the horsepower and torque, you can see that the Model Y is also slightly ahead in horsepower. And I believe that'll translate to a higher top end speed, which I'll probably never use. Uh, but the Mustang Mach-E has a lot more torque. So that should help the acceleration, which is why I think that mid five seconds for the zero to 60 times may be a little bit low. Like I think it may, the Mach-E may actually beat that target. As you can see, the numbers between the two are fairly close, but you have to sort of say the Model Y has the better numbers as it stands right now. So after looking at performance and range, there are some other factors that matter to me. First of all is like how reliable is the car? Now, if you look online, you'll see Tesla actually has a lot of quality issues with their vehicles. There's problems with the paint, body panel alignment. Don't take my word for it. Google Tesla quality issues and read some of the reports and draw your own conclusions. But there's also the additional factor that JD Power and Associates, for the first time they did a survey of the Tesla initial quality. Out of all the manufacturers in the US, available in the US, Tesla finished dead last. That's another red flag for me. Some people joke that Fords are not great quality, but from my personal experience, from growing up to owning vehicles myself, I've had great luck with Fords. The first vehicle I bought was a 1992 Ford Probe. Great car, lasted me a long time. I put 215,000 miles on that vehicle. Never really had any major mechanical issues. Replaced like the drive axle boots and some of the, you know, of course the belts and whatever that normally wears out on a car, but never had any problems with the alternator, the engine, anything like that. The thing just kept going with no problems at all for 215,000 miles. I was super happy with it. And then the next new vehicle I bought was a 
1999 Ford F-150, drove that, beat the hell out of it, threw everything in the back of that, uh, overloaded it. That truck just kept on going, never had a problem with it. So for me, I've actually had really good luck with Fords and people that I know that own Fords, including others in my family. We, we sort of were a Ford family for quite a while. We all loved our Fords. So, so that's a big plus in my mind. For something like the Mustang Mach-E, I think the dealership network that Ford has could be a big advantage. First of all, they're installing charging stations at all of their dealers. But the other big advantage is the repair process. From what I understand, Tesla is very limited on their repair facilities, and they also insist on you using genuine Tesla parts. So if you need something replaced, there can be long waits to get parts. And that's a bit of an anecdotal point for me. I know a couple of friends that complained about the fact that they needed what they thought was a minor part, and it took about six weeks for the part to come in, and they were just out of luck while they were waiting for that part. Of course, the Mach-E is new, so we don't know like how the service issues will be around that. But the fact that Ford is working with so many of their dealers to get certified on dealing with the Mach-E, I think that's gonna be a huge benefit. But in the end, one of the reasons that anybody makes a decision to buy a car is how does it look? And for me, my personal preference is for the Mustang Mach-E, and I don't think that's gonna change. To my eye, I think the Teslas are rather generic, and that's just my personal view of how I look at the Teslas. The Mach-E, on the other hand, I just, first of all, it's like I've always liked Mustangs, and it has a lot of the Mustang cues built into the design. If you're interested, I sat in on a webinar by the designers of the Mach-E, and I'll put a link to that above. It's about an hour long presentation they talk about the concept of the Mach-E design from the, the first concept drawings all the way to virtual reality models, clay models, and then to the final production model that we're seeing today. I think they did a great job incorporating some of the traditional Mustang design cues into this very modern design. If you look at the Mach-E side-by-side with the Tesla, the Mach-E has a, a more aggressive stance, a very aggressive front end. One element of a of all Mustangs is they have that like long hood, and you can see here that the Mustang has again with the Mach E has that long, nice long hood out front. Toward the rear of the Mustang, you can see how it sort of flares out. Here you can see the tail lights, which sort of reflect that traditional three tail light Mustang. Uh, design cue and overall just looking at the side profiles of the two vehicles I, it just looks like the mustang is a more aggressive um, fast vehicle the tesla model y looks sort of like a an inflated sedan if you ask me so it's my personal preference i like to hear what you think if you want to make a comment below about what you like or dislike about the the designs of both vehicles go ahead and do that right now so that's it. Those are the reasons that I chose the Mustang Mach-E over the Tesla Model Y. Follow along in my vlog and see if I stick with that decision during the manufacturing and the delivery process for the Mach-E or if I change my mind. Don't forget to leave a comment before you go. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you soon.